Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. I sax up your Sunday every week with free online saxophone lessons, bringing you great technique tips, advice on how to sound more pro and breakdowns of your favourite sax solos. I can't believe I haven't done this song yet on this channel as it's one of the most famous sax songs of all time, but today is finally here. My breakdown of Danny Flores' gritty tenor on Tequila by the Champs. Tequila by the Champs is one of the most famous sax melodies of all time, so it's about time I did it on the channel. <laughs> what have I been thinking? Anyway, the song was written in 1958 and features the growling tenor of Danny Flores. Flores also utters the immortal tequila vocal, but due to a record contract conflict, he went by the pseudonym Chuck Rio. You can get your free PDF sheet music for tequila by clicking the link in the description and you'll find the notes for both alto and tenor in there. Just before I break it down for you, if you haven't already checked it out, make sure you watch my one hour saxophone success masterclass. It's a free lesson with me where you'll learn how to structure your practice, how to get a great sound and loads more knowledge bombs straight from the pro stage. Just use the URL below or click the link in the description. Just before I play the solo, if you want to learn how to do that growl that Flores uses in the melody, then check out the video linked above now, which will show you how to get that gruff sound. As usual, I've included the fingerings and note names for this song, so just slow it down to the speed you need as you learn it. In case you don't already know how to do it, here's how you slow down the playback on YouTube. If you're watching YouTube on your desktop computer, go to the settings cogwheel and then select playback speed and then finally select the speed that you'd like to play it back. If you're on mobile, touch the screen, go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and then select playback speed and again select the speed that you'd like to practice at. So now you know how to slow things down, here's the solo at full speed. After I've played it, I'll let the backing track run for you to practice with. Have fun! So that's it for this week. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to cover such an iconic song, but better late than never, eh? Hey, thank you so much if you bought me a coffee using the link in the description. And don't forget to check out that free one hour saxophone success masterclass. Until next week then, practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. See you later, guys. <laughs>